Hello. So <clears throat> we changed uh, data, or we want to change a data storage process in MI so that we don't uh, just use uh, a regular JSONs, but the, we kind of uh, use data frames for that, and uh, so that the, a user can choose to store it as uh, whether whether it's CSV or JSON. And another cool feature of that was that it supported to store data on uh, or, or to, to, to store data with, within Hive so that it's typed. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. Um, so <clears throat> currently, uh, there there is a predefined data format, and that is um, uh, JSON records, and it is supported on Hive. So, uh, you know, we just do a regular regular entity analysis, and the uh, analyzed entities are then stored in the uh, data frame. And the data frame is then uh, you know, uh, it, it should be uh, mm, defaultly available as CSV, but in order to uh, work with Hive, uh, we have to store it as JSON records. And this is basically that. So, and this format supports types. We can go and see on who. So, uh, I have here, I, I can drop the table and show you that it really works. So we have it here at test JSON. And I can drop that. And I can go to the to our data. To our data location. So it's in which play pen and currently I test on my in my folder metrics spot knowledge and that's JSON. So we 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 have analyzed the pull request and we can up, uh, yeah the DMI ultimately autom um, that does this by default it when you want to store remotely, you just uh, don't do anything, and DMI stores it remotely to the location you, you pass it as a parameter. And so I can show you that our our, our JSON uh, data frame that I've analyzed uh, will be high friendly. Yes, just let me find it. Website tool, yeah. And uh, the uh, uh, query for that is just this. And it, it uses a JSON server uh, available. And I can create a table out of that so we can see if it works or not. So this should be the table. Then we create a table. April 13, yes. And you can see the data is typed. So for example, uh, the timestamp was converted to, you know, the timestamp. It's not an integer now. And well, yes. So it's really great, and um, the usage here is that before you had to, when using OpenCSV, OpenCSV Verde, you basically all all the types in data table creation were useless because it converts and everything to the string. 
And by using the J, so we can also look at some table that was created by that. Um, I think my deploy requests. Yes. So you see that uh, everything was converted to string, which you don't want to. And if if did it, um, and if you use OpenCSV Verde, you have to then create views out of that table, and you have to cast types, which is another, I think, a redundant uh, operation. So we can look at some. Uh, uh, view <coughs> and yes, this, this is it. So before, when you use OpenCSV Verde, everything was converted to the string, and you had to cast everything back to the, to its type. But you know, you also did that as well in the CSV Verde. So that was this was essentially redundant operation. And now with JSON Verde, you don't have to cast anything. You have type data available on here, so that is great. Is that something that we uh, need to show back to the data science people, or do do they know that? Have you learned it from them? I honestly don't know because when I uh, uh, asked, nobody responded. Uh, only uh, was it some some person responded, but I, I was delivered no no tip or no information on how to use types. So that is the thing I've learned by myself. I, I think that everybody uses OpenCSV Verde because that's a thing everybody recommends to use. Good, sharing is caring. So um, show that in five minutes or so to the data science um, meetup thing. Francesco, what is it called? Data science meetup. Yeah, I see data oh. science meetup. Actually it's open so easy. now. Yeah. Right, that that is what I'm looking for. Uh, so uh, show show to them. And um, the other thing on my mind is um, uh, you showed a lot of view and clicking and this and that, but in reality, it's all backed by some workflow or by some cron job uh, who's doing all that stuff for you. Yes, uh, only the table creation is not backed up by anything right now because. Uh, I wanted to try some JSON to Hive uh, tools, but essentially they didn't quite work well. So the only thing that is really required to do manually is to create a table query. Yes. But in the end, um, I don't know because that can be, you know, ideological. So. Uh, why, why, why would you want to have a automatic table query creation when you have to be aware as a data engineer what you have in tables and the table should not change in time, right? When you update data. So I don't know. That's maybe a, a yeah, yeah. weird question, but <laughs> yeah, that, that is true. Um, Anyway, it feels like uh, a good thing um, to show to the data scientist community. Um, maybe, maybe even to to the roads and open data hub um, people, um, because it feels like a tiny, um, um, tiny isolated thing that we can talk about if it's coming to Hive and the open data hub features. Cool. Uh, any other question to Dominic? Thank you very much, Dominic.